native who has traveled the world doing what most of us could only dream about. He's a rock star. Not rock stars. Uh, he is now back home. That's exciting. Yes, and yes. He's, he's here right now to share his adventurous story and what is going to come next. Yeah. Guitarist Frank Sidoris and the singer of his new band, Robbie Cunningham. All Gentlemen. Right. Hello. How Hello. are you? Thank Guys, you for having us. Good morning. Welcome. I, I see what you see in Robbie, by the way. He, he has a handsome mug. Handsome mug. It's a good, it's a good, hey, this is my girlfriend's mug, actually. So. Aw, a little shout out to your girlfriend. Not a lot of people bring shout their out. own mug on the show. It's, <laughs> this this would be a first. It takes a lot of style. It's impressive. You know? That's, yes. rock, that's gotta, rock and roll. Stay prepared. <laughs> Frank, you have been touring the world mm -hmm. with Slash, uh, featuring Miles Kennedy. Yes. You're back home. Welcome home. Thank you so much. Now there's this new adventure. Uh, tell us about it. Uh, well, being home, I'd say for an extended amount of time is nice after touring for so long. Yeah. But then I think a lot of musicians do get antsy, so we just wanted to do something at home. And uh, over, I'd say, this, the course of a month and a half, we had been offered a gig without a band, uh, even formed yet. What a problem to have. That's, yeah. that's a good thing. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, literally it was just me and him, uh, you know, how we had met was funny, but over the, over the month it was like, well, let's start a band. And this guy gave us a gig at the Palms. And uh, cool. he's like, you, you need to do something. And I'm like, well, all right. So in a month's time, we put, I, I don't know, slowly, slowly uh, 10 people over and over. 10, ten people? Band? <laughs> yeah, you can the, believe it, wow. yeah. The last two, sh um, we added like two days before our first gig. Yeah. No Started with me and him. And then it went to, uh, I think, our drummer who brought the bass player, who brought the keyboard player. <laughs> okay. So I brought the horn players, uh, and then they brought the backup singers. And then literally, like you said, uh, a week before the gig, we had two new girls in the in the band, and it just kind of, you know, here that we works. go. Here we are. And we had to come up with an hour and a half of material, which, you know, it's all covers, but they're all very well thought out covers, well planned. And you didn't nice. have to do one awkward, like, uh, seeking drummer post on Craigslist. No. <laughs> That's nice. The, the, yeah, first try. I hit him up, and he said, uh, all right, I'm there. That's and, fantastic. Yeah. We so, did look at some classifieds, but. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but who doesn't? Half sticks will travel. Exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, Royal Electric. So let's talk about the band, what we can expect from a show. You want to take this one? Um, You're the singer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, basically, what we're doing is we're covering a lot of uh, like 70s, um, yes. 80s, like funk and soul songs. Oh, nice. So we're doing like later James Brown, later Temptations, Can't Get yeah. Next to You. Will somebody like be coming that. out with the coat to put around you? After the <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have gonna, to at some point. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we, we're evolving our wardrobe right now, but eventually we're going to be uh, very, uh, very parliament. I, I would like oh, to imagine nice. space oh, time. Yeah. No, not yet, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Now we play that, and then we mix it up with some rock and roll, but like funkier rock and roll, like Spencer Davis group. I'm a man, and uh, any of the rock Lenny bands Kravitz. that we chose. Yeah, Lenny Kravitz, yeah. Um, Aerosmith, and some Beatles too. And oh, wow. any of those songs that we had chosen definitely had a groovy vibe to them. It wasn't just you know the typical come together or hey jude or mm -hmm. something it's i tell you what <clears throat> you just totally piqued my interest knowing that there's a little bit of funk in all this oh it's that's all, fantastic the idea is fun because yeah. we yes. i think we were all inspired by that you know that was kind of what we start, our first conversations were about when i met him you know it was uh i saw him at a bar uh and <laughs> he was playing good music and i asked him you know what his name was i'd never seen him around and i heard him just singing while he's working pouring drinks i'm like jesus christ that guy's amazing so, <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty much it. We're like, you like funk too? And that was it. And there you go. <laughs> Here we are. It's a match made You met in a bar, like a lot of, yeah. a lot of <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Valentine's Day. <laughs> love story. Yeah. Yes. On right. Valentine's Day, yeah. So. Uh, but you didn't wake up the next day with regret, <laughs> which how most people meeting in bars end up doing. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, uh, you got a show coming up real quick here. Tell us about it. I think it's in about, what, 12 hours. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. If like you can believe it, yeah. <laughs> Hard Rock Live, 9 o'clock. Hard Rock Live on the Strip, not to be confused oh, yeah. with uh, the Harmon and Paradise location that just closed down. So yeah, yes. that's right. It's yes. between the Coke bottle, I believe, right across from Monte Carlo. Awesome. So it's upstairs, level three, and uh, they just revamped the sound system. They just changed it all up, so it's, it's going to be a full-on rock show. Yeah, how do you get tickets? It's free. Oh, free show. Hey, free show. what? Fantastic. I love that. How, I mean, it's, it's going to be pretty cool for you to kind of, you know, you get the downtime to be able to, you know, just create a new project. Yeah. Like that. It was all just yeah. to celebrate the songs that we love. That's literally like yeah. the, the origin of it. And then it just turned into something that, um, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people could see that. They, they could feel that to yeah. where it's a, mm -hmm. it's, it is a celebration. And so now 
the more the more we do it, the more it's very, uh, uh, it's very live. It's very energetic. Yeah, it's very. You know what? Having ten people on stage too is a is a whole different deal because it's sort of oh, like yeah. it's like it's a group. It, it's oh, a yeah. little tribe. Yes. Yeah. Right. Anytime yeah. I've ever seen it a band with more with a horn section or even just a key guy, yeah. the guy in keys, it's always just like wow. It's it's always impressive. I yeah. Think. yeah. Anytime you see that many people on stage, especially great musicians, I mean, we really channeled some serious players and. It's just a blast. And you'll know that you'll always play big venues because you need a big stage. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Not a bad idea. Awesome. Yes. Straight to the top. Yeah. I'd love to hear there's some women in the band, too. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. We're trying to add more. I Good. think, we, yeah. Uh, Grand total, we want three. Do you sing? Uh, I do a mean tambourine. We need a tambourine. Yeah, you need one of those? <laughs> Auxiliary, <laughs> percussion, anything there at all. You want Triangle. Play, a bongo. <laughs> play the bongos, then. It's yeah. great having you guys. Congratulations great to on everyone. Welcome back. Back at you. Yeah. Thank you. Feel your soul with Frank Sidoris, Royal Electric, tonight at Hard Rock Cafe on the Strip. It's free to get in, guys. Show starts at 9, but you must be 21 or older. Wah, For more wah.